Okay, we're just going to show you how to do a blog post on WordPress. Now, the first thing you do is go to your website, and then we'll put in wp-admin after the URL, and that'll take us to our login section. Our username and password go in here. Alright, so once we're inside the administration part of WordPress, um, all we have to do basically is click on New Post. And up here we put in the title of the post. In this case, I'm going to call this one um, Gull with Wings Extended. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put a picture in to this blog post. Now, there's two ways you can do a blog post. Either you do it visually or you can actually go and click this HTML button here and put in code. We're just going to stick with visual at the moment. That's just a little bit easier. You don't have to look at anything that's a bit um, confusing. So, the first thing I'll do is I'll grab the picture. And we just go up to this little picture icon here. Click Add an Image. Now what's that going to do is it's going to give us some options of where to get the picture from. Um, we'll click select files. There's a preview of our picture. With that highlighted we click select. And that'll load that into WordPress. Okay, we'll have some options here in a second. Um, it's going to ask us to choose a size for the picture. Now we don't want a small thumbnail. Obviously, that that 150 by 150 is very small, so we want to try and move up. And 300 by 198 is still a bit small, so we're going to go to the large section. Even though that's too big for what we need at the moment, I'll show you how to scale that down. So we'll click that at the full size. Um, you can add descriptions and things in here but we'll just keep it basic for now and we'll click insert into post that'll put our picture into our uh, post there's a little handle here that we can drag down so we can give us a, a bigger view and allow us to see what we're working on a little bit better so once that's opened now this picture is way too big for this post so I'm going to click on the picture and it'll bring up some options here either to delete the picture or if we click on the little image icon, we'll get some options to scale it down a little bit. I'm going to click on the advanced settings because we can't see what size the image is actually going to be in this with this tab selected. So we'll click the advanced settings. And now when we move it to the different sizes, we can actually see you've got a width and a height size here, which allows us to see exactly how big our image is going to be. Now most of the blogs I set up, I allow a 640 pixel width, so that's going to be a little bit big. See, that that's 819, we want it a little bit smaller than that, 717 is um, still a little bit big, we want less than 640. So we go down to 60% and that's going to give us a width of 614 and a height of 406. So um, once that's done, basically we'll just click update, that'll resize our image. Now we can um, move this image around actually, we can, in that same, those same options, we can go in there and we can decide where we want to put it. At the moment that's clicked onto the right, that's why it's, it's sitting on the right side of our post. Why don't we um, move that to the left, then we'll update it and that, that'll then allow us to put text to the right. So um, now we can actually write the text for our post once our picture's in. Um, I'll just do something simple just because um, this is an example. So obviously um, that's just a very very short little sentence but this is enough for our example. I can go to preview here if I want to see exactly what this post is going to look like. Okay. 
All right, that looks fine to me. Um, so we'll get close that tab off and we'll go back to our uh, edit of the post. Now there are options here that may be handy too. If you do, if you didn't want to publish this immediately, say you were setting up a few blog posts and you're doing them all on one day and you wanted them to come out over the next few days, you could actually select a time and date for this this post to become live. You can do that here. So um, for now we don't want to do that. You can actually choose categories here of what where you want the um, the post to appear and in which categories because you set these categories up as well elsewhere. Um, I'll just call this one general but this is the section that you use if you want to um, categorize your posts. Okay, it tells us up here the post is now published. So we can click either here on view post or we can just visit the site. I'll visit the site and um, the first post should now be replaced with the latest post. And there it is. You can see how here the um, the pictures were 640 pixels wide which fits in nicely to our 640 wide um, space for posts here. So that's it. That's how to put a post up. It's very quick and very easy.